brothers. All right. All right. What? We're off. Who? What? Where? Honest officer, those aren't my drugs, and those six aliens in the back are actually from Mars, not Guadalajara. Oh, what? Me? <laughs> That's my outside voice? <laughs> my bad. Is that why they're blue? No. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> I well, guess my trunk's a little more airtight than most other, you know. Oh, sh- don't I know it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> So I was watching, uh, I don't know if anybody watching it, but uh, on the news yesterday, uh, they showed a clip. I guess it was a high school fight that ha- broke out, and it was uh, a male that identifies as trans got in a fight with a female. And this guy's like, I mean, he was like 6'3". And he's knocking the snot out of this little well, girl. Well, and he's so... in. And this girl, you know, is black, are they doing like the black guy against the black girl, you know, and she's like a good foot and a half shorter hair weave flying everywhere. And she dude, and she was just like up in that guy's face and pushing him and he was pushing back and <clears throat> finally he pushed the shit out of her, knocked her down. And the only one that got involved was another girl to, and they started fighting against the two against the guy. They're, and that guy just started beating the crap out of them. I'm stunned. And then I, here's my thing. It's like, you got, everybody's watching and filming it. Nobody got involved. Yeah, well, and, they can't. They're too busy uh, holding their phone. Yeah, exactly. But the thing is, is like the only one that actually got involved to help out was another girl. You, meanwhile, you got all these dudes, you know, and oh, oh. yeah. It's like this you is, hear some dude in the back going "World Star, World Star." It's like God damn! Yeah, I mean, when is this going to stop, man? It's like I, I was thinking about it. It's like well, they have always been doing bullshit like that. Well, but the since thing is, day is, one. But the thing is, is now it's like that. Well, apparently, this all started from him or identify as it, her. They were in the locker room, and he whipped out his genitalia and was like. I guess he was fucking whipping it out, doing the helicopter thing or whatever. And which that all, that's what started it all. And so somebody, other, somebody if, had if, penis if, envy. If we would have done that when we were kids. If, it, okay. okay. What do you mean so, if? Hang on. Well, hang no, no, on. no, no, no. I don't think any one of us could have physically been capable of doing it more True. than looking like it. But the thing was, it, it, it was, the thing is, is that is a, you know, you could be prosecuted for, you know, doing that. If, you know, in you a normal could, you, circ- you nor- could be if we weren't in the middle of bizarro. World. Right. In normal circumstances, you would be prosecuted, <coughs> you know, and probably been on a uh, predator list, you know, and shit like that. Yeah, you'd be but in you, that special cell at the county lockup. But nobody, they, but nobody, yeah. the thing is, is nobody wants to touch. This is all this woke bullshit. Man. Nobody wants to touch it. <laughs> well, apparently that wasn't the problem, but now I, I understand your your turn of phrase. Here's my thing: is when when do we get to beat the crap? Well, no, every no, time no. When they when, get when they stay they in jail long enough, the rest of the inmates throttle the crap out of the all. When, of these but people. when that, my thing is that's that's the start of a re organization and because reset to it. But pe- when will that happen? People are more afraid of being called. You're a racist. You're a supremacist you're a, you're a something there is some kind of title flung at you because you actually practice a little common sense and a little common decency and a little god-fearing american to yeah. knock that crap off that's not socially acceptable so they need to bring back corporal punishment and civics class not at the same time but you know well we're all either an ist or phobic so the thing you know, in the news is there is, uh, you know, now people are identifying as handicapped. Have you seen that headline? And now <clears throat> people are actually amputating limbs. Oh, They're body actually, dysmorphia. No, not dysmorphia, dismemberment. They're actually severing spinal cords so they can be paralyzed. They're actually yeah. um, ruining their eyesight so that they can be blind. And now you've got young college people saying... What they're doing is wrong. 
They are no. identifying as something which they actually aren't, and they're having medical procedures done to make them that. Who would just fuck, to make themselves feel better? The, Who would fucking it's do the that? It's the same thing people as that are doing the training. I, yeah, I know, it's but the it's the same just, group of people. They they don't like the way they look. They don't like the way they talk. They don't they don't like something. So they think that there's some medical procedure that they have to do. But why I doctor th- whack his pee pee? Because <laughs> they're loony tunes they're absolutely off their n- because they got too many participation prizes <clears throat> daddy didn't whoop their ass or mama didn't hug them or whatever the case may be these dinglings it's just, just uh, these lack of dinglings it, it yeah. just, i just don't understand it because it's just it's a me 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 look at me 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 yeah, and they're know, taking but, whatever uh, opportunity you know back in our day it was people you know would would pierce both ears Ooh. Oh, yeah. A guy wow. would, a was, guy would that, pierce both ears, you know, or if you got your earring on the wrong ear, like, ooh, look at me, or, you know, uh, like I did. I colored my, I dyed my hair, yeah. you know, a different color, and it looked kind of freaky. But that's, you know, that I was what we did. I can do it mine with did. a Sharpie. But now, I mean, we had the social media, so the look at me is way bigger. Yeah, it's, it's TikTok and Reels and all of that instant gratification bullshit, and people are looking... It, it's an inverse of Stockholm Syndrome because these people are uh, not Stockholm Syndrome. God Munchausen. M- much at Munchausen Syndrome. Yeah, they're not being held captive by terrorists. Well, technically they are. <laughs> they and, they're not falling in love with their captors. And then, and then yeah. they, they showed a clip of um, this trans, you know, guy being, well, is it tra- when you, a trans girl? So is that, is it, call, so call it what it is. He's a dude well, looking yeah, like a woman. It, dude are looks you, like yeah. a lady. Yeah. Are you dead, dead naming them? Or are you naming them what they're going to or where I, they I, came from? You know what? It's a dude that looks like wants to look like a lady. And it was on there, and they were showed a clip. It was on uh, TikTok, I guess it was. Of course it was. And <laughs> that person was like um, saying, there's nobody that's ever going to stop me from going into a, a bathroom. The fat guy with the glasses. Yes. Yeah. And he says, and, and if you if ever. We if, would if, have if, said if, that. If you ever stop me or any other trans from doing that, that will be, the, la- that will be the, the last time you will ever do anything like that again. And it was like, oh, that's a fucking bold statement, dude. <laughs> yeah, and uh, impossible to pet. But if it would be one of us, it would be. Oh, yeah. Please, please step outside. <laughs> Get on your knees, put your hand behind your head. Yeah. What am what what's my problem, officer? Living yeah. while being white. <laughs> yeah. You have the right right to remain silent. <clears throat> you you have the right to remove your genitalia. You have the right to gender You dysphoria. have the right to attorney, although you will not be allowed to see your attorney. Ever. <laughs> yeah, it's just when it's they'll put how, you in a cell next to the January sixth shaman. Yeah, and how many how many uh years or decades is it going to take to get out of this that's where that's where i'm it depends on which model you're trying to follow so if you're doing it it, it, (laughs) if if all of this is the actual deep state bullshit then it's then it's going to be a generational thing so it's 10 or 20 years before this stuff gets grown that's what i think if it's if you're following the the social breaking of the culture then we're required to have a redo because there's no way to come back because that's that broke it a chain so it all depends uh are we worried about birth rates <laughs> not with transgenders not really well uh, birthing peoples or whatever the hell they're calling them so breeders get <laughs> to, no, pregnant we, dads no. we, we're breeders yeah we're breeders <clears throat> see that's yeah. that, and if you're a whitaker you're an inbreeder yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just i it's sometimes it's too too much to figure out you know it's i mean it's overly complicated for no reason I know. it's just look at me 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 yeah. and that and next thing you know is they're going to figure out some way to make it so that you've got a failed bottom surgery you can get the dv plate and get disabled benefits for having a broken franken wanker Frank i'm trying wanker. i don't know i didn't Mine thinks I'm, I'm a not stranger to, lately anyway. I'm not trying like, to bring my wanky, but I... <laughs> it was funny because uh, this is John Ray at work because there's a lot of DV plates. Now, a DV plate, in order to park in a handicapped 
parking spot, you actually have to have that you know, little placard, the little placard on there of the wheelchair. And didn't like, used to. Well, and, and I, I don't know, but all I know is, that, but but for Austin, it's a, a two hundred. It's a two hundred dollar for fine. a few years. Yeah. People have been parking in the in those handicap spots, and it's like, well, you're not handicapped, disabled vet, and it's like, no, that doesn't. I mean, that doesn't mean you're you you're eligible to have a spot like that. But anyways, they it was pissing everybody off, and they finally got got a cut down. It's like. You know, cut down on them. It's like if you don't have it, it's going to be towed. That's it. Well, who's getting pissed off? The other the the people that actually have a disabled tag. Dis- so you know, they're yeah they are right. identifying as disabled. Well, uh, yeah, not, I think well, that's exactly right because I've seen more douchebags <clears throat> with the little and it's the same monochromatic group of shit stains, lazy Section Eight scumbags that go and figure out some way to find some loophole so that they can get, they don't have a handicap license plate, but they have the blue handicap tag that they put mm-hmm. in. And an 18 year old with dreadlocks down to his butt and pants sagging is not handicapped. He may be mentally handicapped, he may be mentally defective, he may have some anger issues, but he is not qualified to have that damn tag. Um, and yet, a nice walk would do him some good. So park out Off the a very short pier. <laughs> well, you know that they get those things from the same places they get their guns. Well, that's probably true. That's pro- I, 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 too, should get a 3D printer and make my own handicap placards. and stuff. I don't, so don't care. Uh, there's, too, there's not enough time in the day to worry. I'm more concerned about getting on the deer lease. I like would anyway. still, regardless of my health, I would park my vehicle as far away from everybody. <laughs> Yeah. And I would gimp my way to the mall if I had to. I would not get up there as close as I could. I want to be out and away. I don't want anybody parking near me. When I park away from everybody and then I come out and somebody parked right beside me, I'm like, what the hell is your problem? Yeah. Why are you parked right beside me? Yeah, there's Does eight- my vehicle protect your vehicle, you piece of... Yeah, there's there's eight other slots and they decide to park right next to you. Like, what's your problem, man? Or my personal favorite is the guy that drives the Ford Lightning and parks cockeyed. Uh-huh. So he's he's parking at a weird angle, taking up two spots so that he, his headlight and his taillight are the only thing he can get dinged. And they're, I get they're it. all about this tall, giant hats, curly-toed boots. Yeah. Anyway. I get it. I've done it one time where somebody par- did that, and I was able to pull in from the other side. I wasn't able to back the truck in, so I just pulled in from the other side. Is that a euphemism for something? No. And I, that code? Pulled my truck through the spot, and so my front end cleared their so car. You're, you're docking. And then the dually fender was sticking right out right there, and it was like, oh. I'm like, you, know yeah, what my, you know what my wife calls those duallys? Hmm. Trucks with hips. Oh. Mm-hmm. They I, like the, they they have, I, like, I like the hips. I like my truck with hips. All righty. I I, I I don't have a I don't have a report retort for that. Ret- I don't have a retard for that. <laughs> well, they they are so sloopy. Well, I don't whole, know. The whole point of that discussion was about the trans thing. It's like, no, it's the just wheels came off of that cart. Yeah, it's just. I thought it was just so. Have there extra oh. ADD spray in the room? <laughs> Right, cheers. Cheers. Where's the camera? Cross rifles, baby. Reed Brothers. Reed Brothers.